ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Makes the catch and look out. He's to the 40, and he hits him hard at the 43. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. And he's taken down at the 46. That's good for the three yards. That'll make it 77. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of four on play. That'll make it 77. And they'll run him again. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Scrambling around. They bring him down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up. And it's good! Missouri gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Jayhawks in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time, where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Roger, Roger. Mike eight. Mike eight. Here we go. Here we go. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled around the 28-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here we go. I got 29. Easy, easy. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 11 yard line. That's a game 17 on the play. First down. Watch number 29, 29. All right, T, let's go. All right, T. 
Red to the... And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Second and 14. Ball on the 15-yard line. The five, touchdown, Kansas! And he adds the extra point. A seven play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now, 7 3. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Zips it to the back. And he's leveled at the 37-yard line. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He fights forward to about the 40. Third down. Red two. Go. Gets to about the 41-yard line. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Fires out to his receiver. He's brought down in the open field. That's a gain of 13 on the way. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Kansas is up by four. Red two. Throws left. The running back's got it. He's tackled at about the 41. That's a gain of eight on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Play fake. Once it all, going deep. And he's immediately tackled. He found his halfback and turned it into a big game. This kid is a very versatile back. He can run the ball, he can make the catch, but what you don't notice is his blocking. This guy's just an all-around player. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. a hand up and brought down before he could go anywhere. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. 7-3, Jayhawks. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Black five, black five, yellow three, yellow. 
and he's hit immediately. Gets it out quickly. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. It's third and five. Ball of the 22. Kansas holds a four-point lead. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And now he's got room to run. Good outside run there. almost picked off. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he is drilled at the 38. Strike to the receiver. Tackle at the 48. He's on the run. He's at the 40. And he tackles him hard at the 33 yard line. They'll get him for a loss. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. It's second and 12. Ball on the 35. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Yellow Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop at the 28. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. They'll bring him down at the 17. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Looks to him again, complete. He's taken down at the nine. That makes it second and two. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. We'll be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. Missouri kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down.
from their own 46 yard line. First down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three. Orange. Quick throw. Excellent open field tackle. Number seven on the tackle at the 46 yard line. That makes it second and two. Four down, four down. Here we go. Here we go. I got 29. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 36. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. My game, my game. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Third and five. Ball on the 39. He makes his way to about the 28. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mike Gates, Mike Gates. Here we go, here we go. Going for it all to the end zone. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Second and 10. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Larry, Larry. Mike A, Mike A. Check pass, check pass. Red two. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Kansas is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it 77. Check, 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 and down he goes at the 29-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. Third down. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. Jayhawks with a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators 
a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Kansas is up a field goal. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Number 12 makes the set goal with the 29 yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. My game, my game. Go ahead, two. Let's go. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Call it a game of 17 yards. First down. Six-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Brought down at the 37. The ball carrier. Call it a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Mike eight. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Kansas has a three-point lead. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets it. He's in space. 
Tackle made around the 20-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he's tackled right away. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. Knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for the game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Throws it in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 44. And he's level at the 38-yard line. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Now he's flushed, and they got it. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 40-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Easy, easy. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. And that'll get him fired up. Well, if they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. They can get into field goal range with a decent gain here. He heaves it deep. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. We're about set to start things up again. Kansas holds a field goal lead. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll knock him down for a loss. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. He airs it out. Almost intercepted. It's away, and it's a booming punt. 
and down he goes at the 32-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets out to around the 45. Slings it. He's at the 40. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. 13-10, Kansas. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Red two! Hit blue blood! Catches it. And they make the stop around the 27 yard line. And he is drilled at the 24. Tries to buy some time. And he tackles him hard at the 15. Fires out to his wide out. and made the connection to his wide receiver. It looked to me that the defense was more worried about the quarterback scrambling, and that's why they just gave up that touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Steps out of bounds at the 27. That's a team of two. Third down. in the open. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. Black five, black five, yellow three, yellow go. He's on the run. There he goes. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. That's a game of 11. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Mike eight. Mike dog four. Three nine. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And down he goes. At about the 47-yard line. Number eight brings him down at the 
47 yard line. line. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and four. four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled at the 43. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play on this drive. He makes it to the 42-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Watch the run, watch the run. Mike eight, Mike eight. Red two. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 37 yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Caught, open field, brought down at the 29. Tenth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Green nine, green nine. And he's hit immediately. That's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window the zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running the slant. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made around the 12-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike eight, Mike eight. A little over a minute in the game. Black five, black go. And they got it. They cannot afford to take sacks at this point in this ball game. No, they cannot. This is do or die time. Third and long here for the final drive in the fourth quarter, and they need a conversion. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. Gain of 16 yards. That makes it first and goal. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike eight, Mike eight. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, go. here we go, here we go. Go! Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Just inside the five. Second down. Stop behind the line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. It's fourth and goal. They're on the nine-yard line, and I'd probably be expecting a pass to the end zone here. a great tackle at the 17-yard line. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. It's second and 12. Ball on the 15. We have less than a minute to go. Nice run there.
in a tight matchup that featured defense all day long. 17-13, Tiger. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Missouri came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.